if nature intended you to have plastic in your body, it would have put it there in the first place. All human performance can suffer. Why would you use your body as a human experiment? You do not want to be a micro plastic ingestion guinea pig. I just want to record this little um, vlog, a vlog post because there was something that came to my attention uh, recently. So last week, three news agencies or three websites uh, across three different countries all published this single study. So Newsweek, The Guardian in the UK, so Newsweek is US, uh, The Guardian is UK, and news.com.au, that's Australia, that's where I am. They all published a study about the amount of plastic they found in bottled water. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit about the study because it's done by you know, University of uh, New York. And what they found is they actually tested 259 individual bottles of water for plastic. Um, there's 27 different lots across 11 brands purchased from 19 locations in nine countries so it's pretty comprehensive right what they found was interesting they found that 93 percent of the bottled water contain microplastic fibers as in they're contaminated and this is after of course you know good scientists they account for background or lab contamination so 93 percent of bottled water um, which is twice as much as what they found in a previous study on tap water. So isn't that fascinating? Because we, we think that bottled water is perhaps better quality uh, than tap water, and that was the perception that uh, water companies, uh, big food, like to have your, you know, you believe, like Nestle, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, they all manufacture bottled water, and the sell point is that bottled waters are better and cleaner. And the thing is, what's shocking is, for me at least, is that there's actually some bottled water have actually up to 10,000 micro particles of plastic per liter. Think about it, 10,000. Is that not concerning? You know, my re immediate response was that it disgust. It's like, whoa, I, I buy bottled water often because when I need to bring my own bottled water, I want to avoid the floor, fluoride. Right? I refuse to be medicated by uh, government policy. So I don't want fluoride in my water. So, so therefore I buy bottled water when I don't have access to my own filtered water. Now, that, and what this is saying is I, I'm actually taking in plastic as I, as I um, with a bottle of water. So I was, my initial reaction is actually disgust. Now, the thing is, why should, why should you care? Now, personally, I believe the implication is a health. It's not just health, it's not whether it's cancer or not, it's personal performance. So we know for a fact that plastic is endocrine disrupting so it disrupts your hormones disrupts your thyroid and it can lead to all kind of hormone regulation issues and it's been linked to cancer uh, depression all kinds of issues the initial response by the big food um, so i'm talking about pepsico coca-cola and nestle waters is that well from the Here's, here's what they say. So, for the Inter International Bottled Water Association, there is no scientific consensus on the potential health impact of microplastic particles. Okay? The American Beverage Association said that it stood by the safety of its bottled water 
And I think that the scientific ground of, around microplastics was just only emerging. So that comes from the garden. And the, also the actual report, the study, uh, the old media did note that the bottled water manufacturers do stress that the product is safe and have met all government requirements. They stand by the safety of their product. So this is the American Beverage Association said in a statement. But interesting enough, despite all these assurances, it's enough for World Health Organization to investigate further. Although they did say that there is no, uh, there is not yet any evidence on the impact on how human health and it's an emerging area of concern. So this response just annoys me because it typifies what big food is all about. Denial. And doesn't that remind you of something? So the thing is, the, if we rely on them to protect our health, the big food, the government policies is that all human performance can suffer. You may, you may not get cancer, you might not die immediately, but you might die 20 years later. But you can't link the two, of course, so therefore uh, it's not a problem, is it? And my response to the water bottlers is, you know, to the point of no scientific consensus, doesn't that remind you of what coal industry is talking about climate change? Or even big tobacco attacking studies that link cigarettes to cancer uh, all those years ago, right? So, you know, and the other response is the data on topic is limited. The thing is, the fact is, study costs money. And my angle for human performance is if nature intended you to have plastic in your body, it would have put it there in the first place. Right. So having things that's been there that's not supposed to be there, it's going to hurt your natural reaction, your natural body function. So it's going to hurt your human performance. And if you're an entrepreneur, you have ambition. You've got, you've got stuff that you want to get done. You want to achieve. You want to overcome. Why would you use your body as a human experiment? Why would you want to use your body as the biggest microplastic ex experiment, you know, that does not make sense. So if you care about your human performance, you should care about this microplastic problem in bottled water. And the thing is, look, bottled water manufacturers, if you can find a way to remove this plastic and re eliminate so you can get better than tap water, you have a billion dollar idea over there. Don't fight it. Just Take the plastic out, work away, be innovative, rather than just live in denial and say, well, it's not a proven problem. Just because there's no, no proof at this stage or conclusive proof that it is a problem doesn't mean it should be there. Take it out. Take it out. It does not need, we don't need plastic in our water. Take it out. Do better. I think we, you can do better, bottled water manufacturers. Um, my recommendation for executive warriors is that look you need to care about the detail yeah if you your, your body think of your body as a ferrari your lamborghini you you put high performance fuel high performance fuel would you put sand in your high performance fuel what happened to your engine yes so get it out of there we know plastic contain you know biphenyl uh, a and BPS, phthalates and you know, dioxins, all kinds of nasty stuff. It's linked to cancer, hormone disruptions, um, mood swings, cravings, all kinds of things. So don't put it there, take it out. Well, and water is such an essential element for detoxification. So toxins in water is just, it's just not smart. Use good quality water filter. Bring your own water wherever possible. You can get those um, portable water filters that you can actually filter water on the go. And heck, it's cheaper, yeah? Cheaper than buying bottled water. Don't let mass media fool you into compla complacence, you know, for a false sense of safety. And 
you do not want to be a micro plastic ingestion guinea pig don't risk your human performance it's not worth it and that's just my opinion all right i hope this little video is useful for you and you know subscribe to the channel for more videos like this i'll be posting my comments on the, um, you know commentaries on recent events as well anything that affecting executive warrior performance whether it's in body or brain and mindset this is something that i'll be commenting on on a regular basis and provide you useful info so subscribe to my channel and i look forward to seeing you in the near future